The rich and famous live a very different life from the rest of us. And one of the best ways to understand this is to take a look at their homes. Normal people with normal bank accounts tend to have pretty ordinary apartments and houses. But when you reach a certain amount of wealth and name recognition, things can go easily overboard. Very, very overboard. Today we'll take a look at some of the strangest homes of the ultra-rich. Number 10. Bill Gates' Hyper High Tech Mansion Bill Gates has spent a large chunk of his life as either one of the world's richest men or the absolute richest one, depending on when you look at the Forbes list of billionaires. His house very much reflects this. Xanadu 2.0 is a massive lakeside property in Medina, Washington, and its value in 2016 was over $127 million. While this is only a minuscule fraction of Gates' fortune, $98 billion at the time of writing, it's more than enough money to fill a mansion compound absolutely to the brim with all sorts of luxuries and technical details. The 66,000 square foot, seven bedroom dwelling was built from 500,000 board feet of 500 year old Douglas fir and features amenities such as a 200 person reception hall, a home theater, a trampoline room, and a $30 million library that houses some incredibly valuable scriptures and a hidden bar, apparently just because. Xanadu 2.0 has been built to be eco friendly, but this this being Bill Gates, it's also full of amazing technical details. Reportedly, every visitor receives a pin where they enter their preferred lighting and temperature, and the house changes them based on the room that that person is in. There are hidden speakers that allow music to follow you from room to room, and the house is full of wall-mounted screens that can display the artworks of your choice. Even some of the plants near the mansion receive more care than the average Joe. It's said that Gates particularly likes a maple tree that grows near the driveway, and as such, the lucky tree is set up with computer monitoring and automatic water pumps just in case it gets too dry. Number 9. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian West's Ultra Secure Monastery House Kim Kardashian West and Kanye West are one of the most famous couples in the world, which has been problematic at times. After Kardashian was robbed in Paris in 2017, the two invested in some serious security, which combined with their design aesthetic makes their reportedly $60 million house seem pretty peculiar. The home's aesthetic is all about about sparseness, concrete, light colors, angles, and arches, causing Kardashian to compare it to a minimal monastery. It's a pretty secure one too, seeing as Vogue writer Jonathan Van Meter has compared its safety measures to layers of Pentagon-level security. Apart from the 24-hour security detail and safety measures for the entire family, including the children, the couple even have a manned security pod in their garage. Number eight, Naomi Campbell and Vladislav Doronin's spaceship house. Naomi Campbell's success as a supermodel was truly out of this world, so maybe it's only logical that when her boyfriend Vladislav Doronin commissioned a house for the pair, it looked like something straight out of Star Trek. The futuristic mansion is all glass, light-colored materials, strange angles and curvature, and its most prominent feature is a peculiar 72-foot tower that looks a bit like a periscope. The interior of the house looked like something out of a science fiction movie, and its white, high-concept design made it seem like aliens are lurking behind all corners. To add to the spaceship effect, the tall central tower is a private bedroom area that allows unimpeded sights of the surrounding forest, making it seem like the structure is floating above the woods. Unfortunately for Campbell, the one-of-a-kind house was commissioned in 2012, so if she ever got to live there, it didn't last for long, seeing as the pair split up in 2013. Number 7. Celine Dion's Waterpark Mansion Celine Dion is a wonderfully talented singer with a great career, millions upon millions of sold albums, and a vast amount of hits. However, because one of her signature songs happens to be My Heart Will Go On, aka the theme song to Titanic, she's always going to be at least somewhat associated with water. Still, we have a feeling that Dion herself doesn't mind that reputation too much because she was too busy having fun in a giant Florida mansion with an actual water park. Yep, that's absolutely right, Dion did the exact thing many people daydream of doing if they had access to that kind of cash, and equipped her property with a full-on water park with two water slides two swimming pools, and even a pretty impressive lazy river. Sure, the mansion itself is also pretty huge and neat, but let's be honest here, nearly every rich person has a mansion. Only the cool ones have water parks. Or rather, had water parks. It appears that even Celine Dion can get enough of water, seeing as she sold the place for $28 million in 2017. Number 6. Robert Downey Jr. and the Windmill House Thanks to his long tenure as Tony Iron Man Stark in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it can be pretty difficult 
difficult to imagine Robert Downey Jr. living in anything other than a huge high-tech mansion. Imagine our surprise then when the actor bought a new place in 2017 and it was actually a windmill cottage that was built in 1885. To be fair, the place is not an actual windmill but a replica of an old windmill located in the Hamptons. Despite being a cottage, it's not much of one either, as its luxurious location, four acres of land, and total of 8,500 square feet of living space are enough to make it a mansion by almost anyone's standards. The luxurious windmill, or cottage, features the main house, a studio, a guest house, along with the obligatory tennis court, swimming pool, and garden areas. The windmill structure itself hosts a cool library and an office. Number 5. Prince's Paisley Park Estate Prince was no stranger to delightfully strange living accommodations. His Paisley Park complex in Minneapolis, Minnesota is a massive 65,000 square foot combination of home, office, and studio that looks, well, exactly like you'd imagine a massive compound owned by Prince to look. Imagine cloud patterns on the walls, copious Prince-themed artwork and memorabilia, and the name symbol from his artist formerly known as Days adorning the floor of at least one major hall. Hall. Apart from all the amenities a recording artist could hope to have, the Paisley Park estate featured luxuries few other people could dare even dream of. There's a private club called NPG Music Club, along with a giant concert hall and soundstage for Prince to rehearse for his tours and to give exclusive concerts for the select few. The estate also included the famed Paisley Park vault, a climate-controlled, hidden bank vault-style basement room that only Prince could access and that contained and probably still does contain thousands and thousands of hours of unheard recordings. Number 4. Leonardo DiCaprio's Luxury Homes There's no question that Leonardo DiCaprio is one of the final Hollywood actors of his generation, as he has built a fairly neat collection of impressive roles over the years. It turns out that he has a very similar approach to homes, seeing as his history with luxurious houses is reportedly a long and complex one. In 1994, DiCaprio purchased a large compound in the Hollywood Hills from none other than Madonna, and four years later, he splurged on a smallish three-room bungalow in Carbon Beach, California. In 2008, he bought an apartment in New York City's luxurious River House, one Rockefeller Park high-rise. The building has all sorts of cool features, from double-filtered air to round-the-clock concierge services and a yoga studio, and evidently, DiCaprio likes it so much that he also bought the apartment next door in 2014. At various points, he's also had properties in Palm Springs and Malibu. However, perhaps the most impressive of DiCaprio's various accommodations themed projects is Blackador Key, an entire island off the coast of Belize which the actor has been developing as a luxurious yet eco-friendly resort. Number 3. John Travolta's Jumbalair Jumbalair may sound like a supervillain's headquarters, but it's actually a very real compound in Florida which, granted, could probably function very well as a supervillain lair as well. The gated area features a large mansion, a vast conference center, a swimming pool, bar area, a huge warehouse, and hangar system system and 38 residential lots, along with the largest lighted runway in the entire country, which is big enough that it can accommodate a Boeing 737. The area originally belonged to the Vanderbilt family, but the more eccentric aspects of it, such as the runway, were built by a businessman named Arthur Jones. Jones used the compound to house his various planes, among other things. At one point, the area even acted as a shelter to orphaned African animals, housing numerous elephants, crocodiles, rhinos, and even a gorilla. The most the famous owner of the lair is none other than John Travolta, who is both a famous movie star and a certified pilot. Unfortunately, it appears that he fell out of love with the 550-acre complex, seeing as he put it up for sale in 2019. Number 2. Warren Buffett's Home Warren Buffett is one of the world's richest people, but looking at his house, you'd never know that. Instead of a sprawling, eight-figure luxury mansion, the Oracle of Omaha chooses to live in the same house that he bought in 1958 for $31,500 which is $276,700 in today's money. The five-bedroom, 6,570-square-foot Omaha home is a pretty neat place, but far more middle-class than you'd expect from a guy of Buffett's financial stature. Despite this, Buffett seems perfectly happy to remain where he lives and even calls the house the third-best investment it ever made due to its modern value of $652,619 as of 2017. Of course, Buffett is still a powerful billionaire, so this humble abode features security systems such as cameras and fences. Number 1. 
Michael Jackson's Neverland Ranch. And then there is Michael Jackson. Neverland Ranch is pretty much the ultimate in strange homes. The 2,700-acre area might be known as Sycamore Valley Ranch these days, but back when Jackson lived there, it featured a whole list of truly amazing features. Have you seen movie theater? Check. A full-size Disney-themed train station? Absolutely. How about a whole amusement park, a bunch of exotic animals, a pool, a lake with a waterfall, a luxurious main mansion, and tons of well-maintained parks? Park areas? You got it. The abuse allegations against Jackson and his late-life financial difficulties also impacted Neville, and in 2008, the singer negotiated a $23 million ownership agreement with an investment firm, which renovated and rebranded Neverland after Jackson's death in 2009. They first attempted to sell the place for $100 million, but as of 2019, the place was still up for sale, and after multiple price cuts, its asking price was a rather more realistic $31 million. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and do not forget to subscribe. Brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Thank you for watching.